Hi, so this is a new niche house I discovered on my last trip to London. I went to a perfume meetup at Javoy Boutique in Mayfair and she was there with the launch of a new fragrance which I'm going to talk about in a minute. So stay tuned. hi welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching so if you're new don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell so that every time i post a video you're one of the first people to know about it and if you're returning thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much so let's dig right into it so today we're talking about la maison hedonic and there's eight fragrances in the collection and I'm gonna talk about actually I'm gonna talk about these two I've got three at the minute but I have not um, done enough wares of this one to give a review so I'll leave this one for another video I'll talk about that later so today we're gonna to be talking about 1793 and this is in collaboration with the house of High Clare Castle so this the name 1793 obviously as you can guess the year is from when the house achieved eldom so that's when the title was given to them uh, the house of i Clare castle so quite exciting and this again it's a green floral fragrance and it's very green and look at the juice <laughs> look at that color <laughs> it's which it smells as green as it looks i'm not kidding you so let's just talk about the presentation to start with so quite nice solid box very luxurious looking i must say and the rest it comes off like that and then that's what you've got and the bottle and this is a 30 ml bottle there we are and so you've got gold finish there and that's velvet you know what the velvet finish on here gives it a more luxurious look than if it was just a plain i don't know finished gold or whatever the velvet on there just gives it a lovely luxurious look look at that how cute is that bottle i love it i love this cute packaging so there's some detail just at the bottom as well and obviously for a third meal it's 60 pounds and you can get these on their website so they've got a website lamaisonhedonic.com uh, yes and as well they are in Javoy in London at Javoy Mayfair boutique so you can get that on there as well so and obviously I love the packaging this is quite nice and anyone who knows me <laughs> knows I'm quite big on packaging I love cute Le, you know cute looking things and this absolutely delivers so i'm quite impressed and obviously isn't that nice quite nice anyway moving on let's talk about the inspiration for the fragrance so this fragrance is as i said before a collaboration between la maison hedonic and the house of i Claire castle so if you've watched downtown abbey then you're very familiar with the house i'm talking about because that's the castle that's featured in the series the downtown abbey series if you watched it so you know very well what i'm talking about anyway moving along let's talk about the scent right so this fragrance it's essentially a rose fragrance and the rose in this one the opening the opening to me and obviously all my review is based on my take on it how it reacts on me so it may be different for you so i'm going to talk about how my experience with the fragrance so the opening is quite harsh a bit harsh a bit strong like a bit cloying not much but just slightly that's what I got with the first wear but by the time I'd worn it the second time maybe it's because I've familiarized myself with it but by the second time it was lovely opening and it's it's like I say it's a bit harsh it's not like it's a, it's not a fragrance that opens up like <gasps> wow it opens up like a bit harsh like where you're like <gasps> 
Oh, that's green. That's that's quite strong. That the strength on it. That's quite powerful. So the cute bottle there once more. So the opening, and I'm wearing this. I'm actually wearing this. As you can see, I've almost finished it. I've been wearing that sample. So I'm wearing, I wear it from my sample. Let me finish the sample first <laughs> before I get to the bottom. So I'm wearing this and like I said, the opening is a bit harsh, but do not be put off. Don't write it off just yet. Once that rose comes through and then you've got the bergamot and you've got bitter orange once that settles down the the rose is just there you know lying on a bed of masks and the two embrace and then you're wrapped in this lovely rose mask that's what i get and this is after 10 minutes this comes on and it's just a beautiful rose mask you're just wrapped in that and i quite love that and uh, uh do you know what <laughs> i've worn this now for three days i've been sampling it for three days and uh, richly i went down and my husband is going oh what's that it's very green i was like i know it is really it's very green very green imagine in a meadow like lots of green grass that's just been cut fresh like fresh green grass that's the vibe i get from this for some reason that's where it takes me and it kind of reminded me of like in my childhood like when it was the rain season in africa and you get all this tall green grass and once it's cut there was always that fresh green cut grass and that's what this reminds me of that's what i get so that's the opening if you love that green sense you'll love this and do you know what what else i'm quite impressed with this fragrance because when I looked at my collection, I realized I do not have anything that smells like this. Like, literally, it's in a league of its own in my collection. Like, this is probably the first really green fragrance I have. And I'm quite pleased that I have that. And moving along... Oh, this is oh, so nice. Moving along... Well, we've got this beauty. Isn't she gorgeous? Just... Look at the colour of that juice. And obviously the presentation is the same. You've got the velvet finish. And the cup obviously comes back on like that. And a nice spray as well, I must say. Nice spray. Let's just spray that. <sighs> Very nice. Do you know what? This fragrance, let me tell you. I'm absolutely impressed i think it's a genius idea by the way this fragrance is called adia rian de rian so this is in french because lucy lucy Eckhurst, the lady behind the collection behind this house she's a french a english so you find that in her names you find those aspects of french and english in our compositions this one, Rian de Rian, is, that's just, so, Rian de Rian. So, this is translated from French to English. Rian de Rian is simply nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I love that. I really do love that. And this fragrance will not smell the same on N2 people. Like, richly it smells different on everyone so rian de rian absolutely nothing would not smell the same on n2 given people it smells different on everyone so it can be anything from amber to masks from sweet to dry from anything from oriental it can be spicy it can be powdery it can be woodsy depending on who's wearing it and on me i, I actually must say once i've smelled it was quite fresh and then another time it was quite resinous and i'm thinking oh wow so you have to try it for yourself but i think it's a masterpiece and again this is great for rearing so you could rear it with something wear it on top of something that you're wearing already and create a completely new scent so how amazing so i quite i love this and again this is 
30 mils and it's 60 pounds for a 30 ml i believe she's got a 50 mil as well in this one and again they are available on the website lamaisonhedonique.com and you can find them at jovoy as well jovoy boutique in london or their website jovoy rare perfumes uh, mayfair so do check them out and uh, i love this i love this let me just uh, I'm already wearing something so and oh wearing how oh, nice this is I love this on me it's been fresh and then it's been ambery as well so maybe it's be, depending on the mood on how I'm feeling maybe when I'm feeling a certain way the fragrance is reacting a certain way so yes so anyway that was my review of the two La Maison Hedonic fragrances so do check them out. I'll leave all the details uh, that I've talked about in the comment section below, in the description section below. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.